Days after blowing off talks with South Korea, North Korea now says it's ready to discuss tensions on the peninsula with the U.S. But according to Washington, the North will have to meet a few conditions first. In a statement carried by North Korean state media, the country's military leaders proposed high-level talks with senior U.S. officials to ensure peace in the region and warned the United States should not lose the opportunity that is laid out and should actively agree with our resolute step and good intention. The Obama administration has said before it would be open to talks with North Korea if the country would denuclearize and comply with U.N. sanctions. While the State Department gave no immediate response to Pyongyang's request, White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough had this to say on CBS's Face the Nation. We'll judge them by their uh, actions, not by the nice words that we heard yesterday. I will say that the bottom line is they're not going to be able to talk their way out of the very significant sa sanctions they're under now. Per the Wall Street Journal, a North Korean official said denuclearization could be on the table, but building up its own nuclear arsenal for now remains a priority. A Seoul-based North Korea expert told the Washington Post, The North Koreans know darn well this offer is unacceptable. It's so self-serving. When the Americans reject it, they'll be able to say, Look how hostile the world is. They don't even recognize us as a sovereign state. North Korea has a history of ducking out of deals. It launched a missile test in February after promising the world it would suspend nuclear testing. Then in March, it declared the 1953 armistice agreement that ended the Korean War invalid. And this latest proposal comes just days after Pyongyang called off a rare summit planned with South Korea, something analysts say follows a pattern. North Korea always likes to cause some tension and raise the value, the perceived value of having talks. And so they, they'll feel they'll be able to come into talks with uh, a better bargaining position. This would be the second high-level meeting between the U.S. and North Korea since Kim Jong-un took power. During the last round of talks, the North agreed to suspend its nuclear activities in return for food aid, only to later announce plans for a long-range missile. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.